Hey, so today I'm here to film a get ready with me video on this look. It's got purple lips and gold eyes. So like if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start on my eyebrows and I'm going to do something a little different than I normally have been. Um, I'm going to use this Laura Geller Brow Sculpting Marker in the shade Soft Charcoal. And it's awesome because it has like this three tip thing, so I really like it. Um, but I'm going to use this to like go in and like fill in my eyebrow tattoo area. And then I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. So here's the difference that this makes on only one eyebrow and I actually really like it because like since my eyebrows are tattooed on you can like still see all of the hair strokes in it and I think it looks kind of cool that way but it also like kind of darkens it and makes it look like a little better. I am literally sweating so bad right now I'm gonna like put a fan on me so if that's like annoying then sorry but I'm going to die. That fan sounds kind of like clanky and like old and crappy because it's like about to break so ignore that. Okay, now I wanted to try to take the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This one's in the shade Granite. And I want to use this on the tail end of my brow only to try to like darken it and make it look ombre kind of. I've never done this before, so I'm not really sure if it's going to look good or not. But yeah. Okay, so there's the difference that that makes. Um, I think I like it. I think I need to put like some kind of brown brow gel in my actual hair because it's blonde and does not match at all. Okay, I'm just gonna put some Benefit Give Me Brow in like the darkest shade, I think, in my brow hairs. I know they came out with like a new shade um, and new packaging, but I don't have either of those, so yeah. Okay, so for my primer, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in like Eden, I think. Yeah, and I'm gonna put this all over my eye. I'm wanting to do golden warm browns for my eyeshadow, which I don't normally ever do because I don't know why I don't really like gold eyeshadow. Especially, like, I hate gold and black eyeshadow. I don't know why. I think it looks so bad all the time. I don't know, but I'm gonna try it today. I'm wanting to do a purple lip color. So I was thinking maybe gold would look good with purple. It could be like completely wrong. That might look weird. I put like so much of this on my eye and my hair is going all over the place from the fan. I feel like I always put too much of this one but then whenever I use my other one, I never put enough. It's weird. Okay, so I'm gonna start by taking the Lorac Pro, um, Pro to Go. Is this number two? Cause this is gray but it has like a rose gold, a black, and a cream shade. And I always use this cream shade to set my eyeshadow primer. That's like the whole reason I bought this little palette thing is because like, I feel like I don't want to use up all the cream shades in all my other palettes trying to set my eyeshadow primer, which I know I could definitely just use like a, a skin, like a, like, you know, a skin powder that matches my face. That would be, like, so easy. But I love Lorac eyeshadow, so I wanted to use this one. Okay, so I'm going to take the Lorac Pro palette. And I'm going to use this shade right here called Taupe. Um, it's kind of, like, just, like, a mid-tone brown, probably. Kind of. And I'm putting this in my crease, obviously. The only thing that I cannot stand about this palette is that I feel like this is the only crease color and I feel like it's kind of too dark for like just being a crease color. I mean like it works right now, but I'd rather have like an even lighter shade. I don't know, it's like super annoying. But I know they just came out with the Lorac Pro 3 palette and I really want it. But like I'm trying to collect like all of the Lorac palettes. <laughs> I mean I'm not trying very hard because I don't have all of them. But like I want to get the number 2 and then get the number 3. Um, I don't really know when the hell that'll happen because they're kind of expensive, you know? But I do want the third one. Basically, the only reason I want all of them is because of the quality. The quality is, like, amazing on the rock eyeshadows, I think. Okay, now I'm gonna take that same shade and just put it on the outer 
corner, outer V. Okay, now I'm gonna take this flat eyeshadow brush and spray it with MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Yeah, that's what it is, gotta say that, weird. And then I'm going to dip it into the gold shade in this palette, which is phenomenal, obviously. And pack that all over the lid. I feel like this might work better if I use my finger. Yeah, I think so. I really wanted that brown color to be warmer. So I'm gonna add in some, this color right here, Sable, I think. And it looks warmer. It looks darker, but it looks warmer. I'm gonna put this like in the outer edge. Okay, I'm gonna take the cream shade and just put that under my eyebrow. Okay, now I wanna do a wing, so I'm gonna take the Clinique Pretty Easy um, Liquid Eyelining Pin. And this doesn't go that well over like glittery stuff, like the gold, I already know it's not going to. So I'm probably just gonna use this to like create the shape because it's really thin. And then I'll probably like put a different one over top of it. Okay, I'm done messing with my eyeliner and I already put on some mascara. It was the L'Oreal Voluminous. And now I'm gonna put on my Kiss number 11 lashes. They're my favorite and I'm gonna do this like off camera because it'll take forever. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my face. And recently, I've been using two different primer type things. Um, the first one is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm, sensitive, like everyone uses that. But then I've been taking um, Milk of Magnesia and putting it on top of the places that I get like oily or like, like right around my nose, my makeup like always melts. And that's like the only place. So I've just been putting this on like a cotton ball and like putting it right, right here in this area. So, yeah. Okay, so what I do is shake it up and then like I take whatever is left on the lid and like put my cotton ball on it and then just go like this. I, I don't know if anyone else has heard to do this. I heard to do this like a long time ago, but like since it got warm outside, I was having issues with this getting melty right here and so I was like trying to find a, like a mattifying primer that would help. I feel like there's something on my nose. I seen it a second ago. Where'd it go? Um, I was trying to use a mattifying primer but like the one I used didn't help at all and sucked so then I was like okay I'm just gonna try this and since I've been using this I do think it helps. I don't know if it like would help somebody who's like really oily but I do think it helps like around my nose. You just gotta sit and like wait for it to dry and then like it'll start to turn like white and weird looking like chalky and then you know you can put your foundation on. Okay for foundation I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade 05 Warm Beige. This might be a little off in color right now. I have it on the palm of my hand and it looks a little yellowy. But uh, to apply it, I'm gonna use this brush that I got from eBay. It's like the dupe for the oval artist brushes. Is that what they're called? I don't know. But I actually love this brush and it was like a dollar. And I don't know, I just, I've, I realized like I don't like it with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation because I think that foundation is just like too thin for this brush. But like anything else or any like kind of creamy thicker foundation, I love it. It is my bae. I washed this the other day for the first time and it was like not very fun to wash at all because I felt like I just kept like I was just washing and foundation just kept coming out of it which I don't really know how that makes any sense because this is like so dense and has so many bristles that you wouldn't think the foundation would get that deep into it you know you think it would like kind of sit on top of it or something but no it was like in there and I just like finally gave up and was like I'm done. Like, I'm not washing this anymore. I've got this giant pimple thing on my chin area right there and I picked it right before this video because I put self tanner on my face and it made it really dark because like it attaches to like, you know, dry spots or whatever. So it always attaches to like my pimples and scars or scabs. Um, so like ignore that. I'm gonna have to try to cover it up with concealer, I guess. My ears are so white compared to everything else. A lot of people love this foundation. 
I don't really know why, like it's okay, but it's also not my favorite. Um, it's, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's kind of like thick, so then I'm like, why would someone want to wear like a thicker foundation in the summer because I feel like it would make your face more oily. I've worn it or whatever and I mean it kind of got melty around my nose like I said. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people like love it to death and it's just okay to me. And I also feel like the shade range is weird and runs like really dark so that's not cool. Okay I think I'm going to use this uh, NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer and try to cover up this pimple. I normally never use this to cover up acne. But I feel like it'll work. I don't, I don't know. I'm Actually, I'm going to put it around my nose, too. I feel like this foundation doesn't even have that much coverage, and everyone says it's, like, amazing. Actually, I kind of like that concealer. That did pretty good. Um, But that pimple is, like, disgusting. and has, like, a hole in it for me picking it, so that's not really covering very well, but oh well. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Neutralizer. This one is like very yellow, that's why I'm using it because I feel pretty tan right now. And whenever I'm pretty tan, I always use this concealer because it's very not too brightening. And I don't want to look scary because trust me, several times in my life I've been like super tan and then like put just like a decently light concealer under my eyes and I've looked scary. So yeah, and um, I'm just going to use this same brush to like... Blend out my concealer. I also love it for this too. I don't know why I freaking love this brush. But also, I'm pretty sure that this handle situation isn't going to last that long. Because when I was cleaning it and like scrubbing it, trying to get all of the 10 pounds of foundation out of it, I was like pushing on this part of it and it, it seriously feels like it's going to break. Um, so I might want to like order a backup or a few. Because I'm just like waiting for that to happen now. Okay, I'm going to set my forehead really quick with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Nude Beige. This is a pretty yellowy color. I don't know if you can really tell. It looks actually really light on camera, but it should be fine. But I like to use it because I like yellowy types of powders. Because usually my foundation is too orangey or ready. So... Yellow will help like counteract it and make it match my yellow self tanner. Okay, I'm gonna set under my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 120 because all my other powders are like white or really light and I don't want under my eyes to be completely glowing. I really do like this powder, but usually recently I've been like having a lot of self tanner on so I can't really use it on my whole, on my whole face. I just have to use it like under my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna continue to set the rest of my face with that Rimmel powder. I feel like my face looks really, like, flawlessly finished right now. I'm enjoying it. I feel like that's not, like, normal for me. But then again, maybe it's because I wash my brushes and I haven't done that in so long. It's, like, it's not embarrassing because I just don't fucking want to. But anybody else would probably be like, wow, that's ridiculous. My eyeliner is still shit. Nobody look at that. It's bad. Really, really, really enjoy how that Maybelline powder looks under my eyes right now. Like, I really like it a lot. Okay, for bronzer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea. I really, really, really like this bronzer. Every time I use it, I feel like it just looks really pretty. Watch, now's going to be the time it looks horrible. And my brush is shutting insanely. Ignore that. This is what happens when you buy dupe brushes on eBay. But... I like like all of them so I don't care. If my makeup looks weird like from this side to this side I'm like I swear it's because like there's like sunlight coming from over there but also it's kind of dark over there and then like since I'm at this angle this side of my face is actually the actually lit up really well so it looks a little weird like this side looks like darker because it's shadowed. I feel like this bronzer is just so stunning like <laughs> like it really just looks very airbrushed which I say that about a lot of bronzers but I really like this one okay so I'm gonna try to deepen up my contour with this Laura Geller bronze and Brighton bronzer in the shade medium uh, I feel like it is really dark 
and maybe a weird color. I'm going to compare the two actually so you can see the major difference. I'm like going in hard on this but there's a like this one's a Too Faced one and it is very just like you know bronzy and this one's like dark and red so I'm like trying to be careful with it. Yeah, I think that looks okay. A okay. Now I need blush. I'm gonna use, where is it? This Tarta, Tarta uh, Colored Play Bronzer Blush. This one's in pink bronze. And I love all Tarte blushes. And this one is no exception. I think they all just look so good on the skin. This one isn't like too terribly pigmented but it definitely shows up especially like when I'm tan I can still see it but like I love it because it looks very I don't know like you know bronzy bronzer blush I'm gonna try to do a swatch actually and like every time I use it I try not to get the pink spots in the middle see that's what it looks like I don't know it's not very harsh but it still looks very pretty on the skin and the thing that I like about it is that it is matte and I feel like most blushes that are like bronzy colors have a lot of sheen to them so I really like this one mm, and they do have like a different shade and it's called like peach bronze and I want that one more like this one came in a kit which is why I don't have the other one because I wanted that one but like I can't decide if it would be that different for me to actually buy it because like what if they actually look like very similar that would be stupid but whatever Anyways, I'm just rolling it on like the outside bronzy colors and trying to stay mostly away from the pink so it's not too pink. I can like definitely see some pink coming through, but I don't know. It's just very subtle and like nice and not like too much. So I really like it. I do go in and like go hardcore with my brush though because I feel like, you know, not very much is coming off of this. It's not like powdery or anything, but I do have to like dig into it to get like than enough color for myself. I mean like the other blushes like from Tarte are not like that but this one is a little different. Okay for highlighter today I want to go like ham. And I don't know why like I've been seeing like a lot of other people on YouTube going like insane and I don't mean like the challenge of like full face of highlighters that's not what I mean but like they'll be like glowing and I never do that because I don't really like how it looks but today I'm gonna try it if I can stand it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is start with the ColourPop Lunch Money Super Cheek, I mean Super Shock Cheek, their highlighter, um, in the shade Lunch Money. Did I say that? Uh, this is like a very light gold color, and and then I'm gonna use, I'm about to show you a swatch, but and then I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator and Peach Glow on top of it, and like I just swatch these beside each other don't know if you can even tell I think right here and right here and they look so similar even though they're like completely different colors in the pan one is like peach and one is like gold like seriously the gold one I guess is that top one and I did it on top of like whatever I already had on my hand but like they do look very similar hmm interesting I'm gonna use um a, the elf small stipple brush for the color pop one because it just works really well for it I feel like and I love these color pop fucking highlighters like living I feel like they're just so pretty and they like melt into the skin because they're like creamy creamy fied my bronzer is already like glowing all over my forehead too so that's nice I'm pretty sure it's storming outside it seems like really dark out of my window and I think I hear thunder I love storms but not whenever I'm gonna leave my house and have to like walk out in it that's Stupid. Okay, I feel like this side is like glowing insanely and this side's like not, but maybe I, you just can't see it from the angle. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take this Real Techniques setting brush type thing and use this for the Laura Geller blush, I mean highlighter, and I'm gonna look crazy, I already know. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can see that on camera. My camera is about to overheat, so I'm gonna shut it off. And my face is scaring me. It's so fucking highlighted. Is this what normal people like do? Is this why they always look fucking glowing on camera and I don't? That's scary. I'm gonna blend that out and then I'll, like, I'll be back whenever my camera's done being weird and overheating. Okay, so my face. Can you see it? I mean, you have to see it. This side's hard to see. I don't know. It's like the same. I don't know. But it looks actually really pretty. I love the combination color of these two. It looks like kind of pink. 
I don't know how a peach and a gold make a pink, but I love it. And um, I'm going to go and do like the bottom part of my eyes. And all I'm going to do is put the Rimmel Scandalize Coal Liner in black on my waterline. And then use the L'Oreal Telescopic on my lower lashes. And then I'll be back in a second to do my lip color with you. Okay, now for my lips, I'm going to do purple. And I'm going to use the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lippy and so wavy and i just want you to know that this is almost an exact dupe for the nyx liquid suede cream lipstick in the shade 10 let me see where's the actual name in the shade amethyst uh they are so similar this this one is maybe a little little bit warmer but like there's no need to have them both um, but I, I'm just gonna use this one because this is like my newer one and I've had the other one for like a minute so like why not about to make like the weirdest faces ever okay I'm done my hair looks like shit but I'm gonna end this video anyway I don't know if this is coming off kind of blue on camera but definitely it's like really purple to me um, but yeah this is the finished look. Um, hopefully you like it. If you do, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.